If you own a vehicle long enough, sooner or later, it's gonna experience transmission problems. And when it does, should you try a product such as Lucas Transmission Fix? Now, this product does not claim to fix a broken part, but it does make quite a few claims regarding improving the performance of a worn transmission. The test subject today is gonna to be a 2000 Honda Accord with over 220,000 miles on it, and it has some pretty significant issues. So let's get the testing underway and see if this product can help. This is a 2000 Honda Accord that has a 3 liter VTEC and the 4 speed automatic transmission. The owner of the vehicle has changed the transmission fluid and it did not solve the problem. Also, this vehicle was taken to a transmission shop and the transmission shop wanted to do a complete rebuild. They indicated that the torque converter had gone bad and the only way to repair the transmission was just to do a complete rebuild. Regarding the P0740 code, I'm told that the TCC solenoid was replaced by the owner. I'm not sure if the codes were reset when the solenoid was replaced. So the fact that the check engine light was on and isn't on now doesn't mean much. The owner of the vehicle does not want to spend $1,500 to have the transmission rebuilt. So we're going to try this Lucas transmission fix. I'm going to go ahead and see what the transmission fluid looks like. So the transmission fluid does have a pink color to it. With that said, we really can't trust the color of the transmission fluid to give us much information just because it has been changed. So let's take the vehicle on a quick road test and we'll see what it's doing and then come back and see if the Lucas can help. Okay, we're in first. Second. Not going into third. There it goes. Then into fourth. First and second is fine. Second to third is the problem. Third to fourth is fine. Okay, did not want to shift from second to third. I'm not going to be adding any transmission fluid to the Honda. I'm only using this AC Delco Dexron 6 for testing purposes. I'll be comparing it against the Lucas Transmission Fix. Let's go ahead and send off the Lucas Transmission Fix and the ATF to an oil testing lab to see how they compare. We'll take a look at the lab test results later in the video. Before we add Lucas to the transmission of the Honda, let's do some testing on it beginning with the evaporative loss test. I'll first measure out 200 grams of each product into the oil containers and we'll heat the oil to around 300 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. I'll rotate the oil containers every 10 minutes just in case there are hot spots on the griddle. I'll be monitoring the temperature just to make sure that the oil containers are nearly the same temperature during the entire test. A transmission fluid's ability to withstand heat has a huge impact on the performance and longevity of the transmission. The NOAC volatility test is one method of testing automatic transmission fluid. While I don't have the test equipment to conduct the NOAC volatility test, this process will give us some great information regarding the transmission fluid and the Lucas transmission fix. It's been right at two hours. I'm going to go ahead and remove both of these containers from the griddle and when we come back we'll see how much evaporative loss occurred with each product. Lucas start off weighing 394.62 grams. It now weighs 394. That's only a loss of 0.62 grams. The ATF start off at 430 grams. It now weighs 428.7. That's a loss of 1.3 grams. So regarding evaporative loss, Lucas did a very good job. Lucas has a very high viscosity, so it'll be interesting to see how it compares to automatic transmission fluid when it's very cold. I'll place the new and the cooked products in a freezer that's set to 20 below zero Fahrenheit, and we'll come back to this later in the video. Up next, we'll compare the film strength of Lucas and automatic transmission fluid. I'll measure out 40 milliliters of the cooked products that we'll be using during the test. The test will last right at 10 minutes. Once finished testing the automatic transmission fluid, I'll clean the tester and then we'll test Lucas. When it comes to transmission longevity, having the right blend of detergents, dispersants, and anti-wear additives can make a huge difference. While the Lubricity Tester doesn't simulate transmission operating conditions perfectly, it'll provide us with a lot of great information.
Automatic transmission fluid is on the left and the Lucas is on the right. There is a huge difference between the two with Lucas doing far better than just the automatic transmission fluid. New automatic transmission fluid is in lane one, cooked ATF lane two, cooked Lucas lane three, new Lucas lane four. And the automatic transmission fluid is out of the gate quickly and doesn't seem phased by the cold temperature. Team Lucas doesn't seem to be aware that the race has started, but Team ATF isn't showing any mercy and seems to be picking up speed. And the new ATF finishes first less than an inch ahead of the cooked ATF. Well, it's about time. Team Lucas is finally out of the gate two minutes after Team ATF finished the race. At this point, it's about not finishing last. And the cooked Lucas Lucas has a narrow lead over the new Lucas. Taking over seven minutes to get down the oil slide, the Cook Lucas finishes just ahead of the new Lucas. So it says Lucas transmission fix stops slip hesitation and rough shifting in worn transmissions. We are definitely experiencing some slip and hesitation. With the V6 engine, there's a specific spot on the back of the transmission where the fluid is added. It says right here on the bottom, Lucas transmission fix will be ineffective if the transmission has broken internal parts or the bands and clutch packs are completely burned out. It does say right on the bottle that results are usually immediate. So what we're going to do is add this fluid and then take it for a test drive, give it five to 10 minutes and see if we get any results. One 24 ounce bottle of Lucas transmission fix can be added to existing fluid without draining. A second bottle may be necessary in large or badly worn transmissions. I bought a 24 ounce container, so I'm going to go ahead and add all 24 ounces. The oil testing results for the transmission fluid are back and it's very interesting. The levels of detergents and dispersants are very low in this transmission fluid compared to motor oil. There may be other types of detergents and dispersants included in transmission fluid that this lab just doesn't look for. The additive package in this transmission fluid is mainly boron, calcium, and phosphorus. The viscosity of this transmission fluid tested within the normal range for transmission fluid and the viscosity is lower than 5W30 motor oil. The flash point is 410 degrees Fahrenheit, which is actually pretty good. Check out this additive package on the Lucas transmission fix. It's very interesting. As far as the additive package is concerned, there really isn't much of one. It appears that the main thing that Lucas transmission fix does is increase the viscosity of the existing transmission fluid. 5W30 motor oil is a lot closer to 60. This is almost 180, so this is a very high viscosity product. The flash point for this product is 455 degrees Fahrenheit, which means it can really take the heat. So the Lucas transmission fix actually fixed the 2000 Honda Accord. Unfortunately, it did not fix it. However, it did seem to make quite a bit of improvement regarding the second, third shift, and it just seems to shift into gear a little bit better than before. Now, regarding this product, it doesn't claim to fix broken parts, and the only way to know if there's a broken part in that transmission is to disassemble it, which the owner doesn't want to do right now. 
In my opinion, this transmission probably only has maybe a 15, 20,000 mile lifespan before it needs a rebuild. A product like this definitely seems like it's worth trying. After all, it's only 10 or $12. It's unlikely to make the problem worse. In fact, I would say in most instances, it's probably gonna help some and possibly help you get a little bit more distance out of that transmission. As usual, just wanna say thanks so much for watching the video. All my video ideas come from viewers, so I hope you leave a comment and give me some more video ideas. Until next time, please take care, and I look forward to seeing you then.